Alright, we're here. Robert's here, and we're all here. Heroes change, ready to go fishing. Check out this ready? boat. We're ready. It's been a while, Rob. It really has. I know. Too long. Too long. I agree. Come on, hero. That's all lionfish. Can you imagine? Paradise for you. You like lionfish? Yeah, it's the white fish. White meat. Fish. Yeah, yeah, one of the best. Let's see what happens. This is how it's done, guys. You guys haven't seen deer meat for dinner, which I know all of you have. Yeah, look at that. Check them out. Deer meat for dinner. You've grown him a little dad gut since the last time I got to see you guys. Hey, by the way, that's in right now. Dad bod. Yeah. You gotta that's keep good. that. <laughs> all right. How deep is this water, Rob? Um, we'll be about 80. 80. 80. And you're taking a tank down there. What are you going to be looking for? Lobster, lionfish, grouper, snapper, cobia, anything edible. Maybe even a big yellow jack, one of my favorite fish to eat. Okay. Hold this for a second. Hero, please. Hero, you don't want to join him. Come on. You'll learn as you go down. I promise. It'll be a quick lesson. Hey, going down is the easy part. Coming back up is what you gotta pay attention to. <laughs> Very true. Okay, you guys, I'm locked, cock, ready to rock. I'm on a seafood mission. See you guys in a minute. Hero, back at the dock. Oh, yeah. What a great day. Uh, Look at this. Beautiful. That beautiful mangrove snapper. This is the man right here responsible for all that. Yo, what's up? <laughs> you got all this beautiful lionfish. 
make some. And also this blue runner. Yeah. We, we try something like that. Uh, which one the best? Yeah, yeah. I know which one best. These I know are, you know. This one gonna be the best. This is the best. Right. For sure. Okay. okay. Let's slice it down. Yeah. The ocean has some amazing bounty, right? Hey, that that's exactly what we needed. Yeah, perfect. We are back from the boat. Dear me for dinner. Yes. And guess who's here? <laughs> We're a guest of this man's home. Beautiful home, by the way, Robert. Thank, Thank you so much for having us. And uh, Hero, he's taking your job. Look at that. Ooh, he's actually filleting the line fish perfectly. Tell us what you're doing, Robert. Well, what I'm I'm using one of my fillet knives. It's got a nice, long, stiff, sharp blade. And the reason is, on a, on most fish, I like my hands to be close to it. But these have very sharp spines on the top that have some really nasty poison or venom associated with them. So I use a longer knife, come right in behind the head, and then I'll take uh, my knife, follow right along the backbone, just like that. And again, having a sharp knife is key. I know that Hero is a master of the sharp knife. Once you start, tilt up your fillet with your thumb and just gently follow it right down, just like that. I typically would turn it around, come right here. Once it's here, I'll take my knife and I'll cut out these rib bones. Sushi is so much better when it does not have a bone in it. <laughs> and then take it and uh, gently just cut it right off the skin. That's what you're left with. Cut your pin bone out. Voila. Perfect piece wow, of fish. Beautiful. Hero, you asked. Robert, to get your line fish, he came up now with one, but with five of them. Yeah, five of them. Amazing, huh? You guys saw the footage earlier. This man is real deal. Of course, his information is down below. Make sure you guys follow his social media, especially his YouTube. He's always doing so many exciting things. And we're just honored to be here with him. Yeah, it's an honor to be here with y'all. I'm a huge fan of sushi. And that's one of the few fish, that's one of the few things I have no idea how to make. I have never made a roll. Like, really? I don't even know how to do any of that. I love cooking, but I've never made a sushi roll. Okay. Maybe today, today you'll make one. Today. Today's the day, okay, Robert? I know, man. It's crazy. <laughs> I love it. First thing, I'm gonna do a uh, lionfish usuzukuri. It's a part of sashimi. Okay. I'm gonna set up onto that display. All right. Yes. If you guys never had lionfish, you guys are trying to look for it. Extremely invasive for our environment. They have no natural predators. That's why when you go up to them, they just kind of look at you, right? Right. They look at you, what do you want? Yeah. And then you just spare them. That's amazing. Yeah. He was looking at the three prongs and was like, huh, this doesn't seem right. Wow! <laughs> well, definitely. They're not even local fish, right? They're from maybe somewhere in Asia, they're saying, yeah. right? Indo-Pacific, but here's what I say. They're here. Yeah. They're worldwide. They're never going away. Mm. So you know what? They're just a part of our ecosystem now. They're part of the world's ecosystem. And the way I look at it, I only spear the ones that are big enough to eat. If they're too small, it's not like shooting a bunch of ones this big is going to make any kind of difference. They're right. here. They're here to stay. Okay, so let's uh, start to make a usuzukuri. Let me move away this one here, this side. Sashimi. people associate fish with a fishy smell 
and this fish is so fresh it has no fishy smell it's mm -hmm. actually a pleasant smell mm. and that's how you know you've got fresh fish if you ever smell fish and you go mm, that smells fishy yeah. guess what it ain't fresh that's fresh the first time we had it was in the keys right here uh yes actually right. my our first one was uh five years ago at the one of the party at the Mark oh Shire. that's right 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 yeah, you played it yeah that's a very very fast moment and let me tell you when we tried it it was like wow exactly what you said there's no fishy fishy smell fishy taste at all it's one of my all-time favorite fish and how do you usually prepare it yourself all different types i like to make like a hogfish piccata i like to do just crunchy fried fish whatever yeah That means Did cheers. you see the dust come off of that? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. like a magic trick. Okay. All right. This is so, the fruits of your hard labor. Yeah. And what's amazing about this is that there's no, there's, this is just fish and a sauce. Yep. Have you had it like this before, Robert? Never. Wow. That's awesome. Okay. Man, what is this? Ponzu sauce. Ponzu? Yes. Tell me what's in it, Hero. Uh, soy sauce, rice vinegar, and I add yuzu juice. Wow. Citrus. Refreshing, huh? Let me tell you, is that not one of the best eating like? fish? Unbelievable, right? you guys. Never tried it before. This is one. Raw I don't fish want to be rude and eat the whole plate of it. <laughs> <laughs> Here's on, go ahead. Sure. This is as fresh as you can get. Caught just hours ago. Here at the studio of Deer Meat for Dinner. Mm. Does life get any better, Hero? Look at that. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is what it's all about. Fishing, catch and cook, and then sashimi. That's absolutely what it's all about. You know, I know you guys watch his channel. You watch Diaries of Master Sushi Chef, and you see him on video. But what's really amazing is that he and the man behind the camera are just amazingly cool people to hang out with. Wonderful friends, humble, just wonderful people. And to have you all in my home right now is a real honor. And I want to say thank you so very much. Yeah, thank you. My job is now. My job stick is now. And uh, this is just. Let me tell you what. Feelings mutual, Robert. Thank you so much for having us. From day one when you came to Novi, remember that? Hero made some sushi for you? No, he didn't make some. He made like. Yeah, he made your whole plate full. Oh, table full. Just look at that real quick. Yeah, you guys gotta try this. <clears throat> ah, you guys gotta hit this ornament up. If you can find some line fish anywhere, try it. But the problem is when you buy it at a supermarket, you didn't know how fresh it is, you know? Mm. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Here's Han, I think it was a success. What well, success? What do you say? Success. Success. <laughs> Success. Well, thank you so, yeah, yeah, very successful. Well, Robert, thank you so much. We're going to work on the next recipe now, but thank you so much for having us. Beautiful home. Can I just pan over and show me what I see over here? Absolutely. Take a look at this. Take a look at this gator. Now, you caught everything here, Robert? Yes, sir. Wow. This is not the most beautiful wall you've seen. Everyone's got a story. I'll come over here and actually tell you guys. Okay, yeah, please. That would be an honor. So to a lot of people, these are just heads on a wall. But to me, this represents an amazing time in my life. Everything on this wall, everything that I've ever hunted has been eaten. Like that's the first deer I ever killed on video. Killed him about 15 years ago in Okeechobee, Florida. And uh, all of these heads represent a special time in my life. Now I could just cut the horns off and throw them in a pile somewhere. But for me, I would rather have beautiful pieces of art made out of them mm. so that when I look at them, I mean, I could run, shot this with my buddy Seth McGinn in Nebraska. This is my first mule deer. Killed this pheasant in Kansas. Killed that buck in Illinois. Killed the elk in Colorado. This is the largest alligator my wife and I have ever caught. 
We caught it with some wonderful friends out in Central Florida. It was 13 feet, two inches long. Sarah killed this wild hog while seven months pregnant with her bow and arrow. I saw that video. Buddy. Yeah, this is my first bull moose I ever killed. Wow. Killed this buck in, in uh, Pennsylvania and I killed this antelope in New Mexico. Sarah killed this deer on our very first date. She got it in Oklahoma. Wow. And then over there, those two at the wall, Sarah and I killed both those deer five minutes apart, 10 miles apart. 10 so miles apart. We were 10 miles apart and we both killed our deer five minutes apart. And uh, incredible. This is a life that we live. We love eating wild organic meat. I, I much prefer going hunt or fish or dive for my meat versus going into a store and buying it. Everything in this room was, was harvested legally, ethically, and morally. It was all eaten. Mm. And uh, I honor them by having art made out of that that I can look at and remember every Absolutely. single day. The room is incredible.